Hey everybody, Rick Honey Boy Hard here. Thought we might have a little uh, lesson on uh, what most people call the Chicago Blues or Chicago Shuffle. Probably one of the more basic of all blues grooves, blues rhythms, um, and one of the most common that you're going to find. Sweet Home Chicago is a good example of of a style of that style of uh, that song that's played in that style. A lot of Jimmy Reed songs like. Uh, what you want me to do uh, are based on this, what I call the Chicago Shuffle, like I was just playing. Um, it is relatively simple uh, to play, uh, but if you've been playing any guitar for a while, or blues in particular, playing simply is not easy. Um, you really have to play within yourself, and you really have to have some chops down to have it sound clean and good. So uh, uh, let's see what we can do to get you started. You know, it's not going to be something you do overnight, but it's something you can get better at quickly, and it's easy to practice. It's it's relatively simple again. Now we're in the key of E, and we're going to be playing E, A, and B. Lots of ways to play that B. All these chords. But what we're really going to be doing is playing kind of a variation on that. It's really very simple um, because I'm playing just the low E string, the A string, which is being held down on the B note, and then I'm going to go up to what is technically a C sharp, and that's really all I'm going to be, notes I'm only going to be playing. So. Fancier by, and that's just moving everything down vertically um, to the A. And basically, I'm playing the A, the E at the same time. So that's technically an F sharp. Just playing two strings, the A and the D string. And that's what makes it hard. If you get to only play those two strings to have the sound really clean. And I'm damping those strings with my right hand underneath my pick. If I took it off, it would sound like that. But because I'm holding down my palm, kind of against the strings, it's muting everything else, and I can be a little bit more precise on which strings I'm hitting. Still takes some practice, it's not easy to get it clean. And then the B, I'm playing a bar chord, bar B. A little bit more dexterity, a little more practice involved to get those bar chords working. Sometimes if you're not Comfortable, you can always play this B down here. So, part there, called the turnaround, very common in this style, in this key. Again, everything can be moved up or down, in this case mostly up, G version of the same thing, A version of the same thing, C version, a little harder to play because you get again have those strength in your fingers. To be able to get to them, but again, once you've learned some of this basic stuff, you can transpose it to other keys pretty easily. So I'm just moving up. I was just playing one string in E or B.
get good, you're gonna you can move down here to the very close to the uh, end of the guitar. You get kind of an interesting sound. In this case, I'm muting with my left hand. Doing that by pulling up. Sounds even better when you do it with both hands. Chicago Blues.